This is Alex Hager here from Tech Taboo, and I'm going to be talking about what happened this week in the tech world. So if you're a faithful T-Mobile subscriber, there's some good news for you. The iPhone may be coming to T-Mobile in 2013. That's six years since the release of the original iPhone, but if you're looking to get it, hey, now you might have a reason to stick with the carrier T-Mobile. So you've probably heard a lot about 4K resolution, but the cameras aren't that reasonably priced. However, the new GoPro 3, which is going to be released in November, has 4K ability at only 12 frames per second, but it's only $400 for a camera that shoots 4K, but if you're looking for 2.7K, that goes up to 30 frames per second, which is a reasonable frame rate. And along with that, most of the other frame rates like 1080p have all doubled. So now let's sail into the topic of the Pirate Bay. So the Pirate Bay is always getting into legal issues, and I think they've come to a solution. To avoid future problems with the FBI or other agencies, the Pirate Bay is now officially cloud-based, so it's nearly impossible to raid or have future issues. So the Microsoft Surface tablet is pretty anticipated at this point because Windows 8 is going to be coming out October 28th and Windows Phone 8 October 29th. And Microsoft has actually sold out of pre-orders for the Microsoft $499 tablet. So they're making a few claims of why you should get their product. And of course, they're comparing it to the tablet giant, the iPad. And the iPad is notorious, at least the iPad current generation or third generation, is notorious for that great retina display at a resolution of 2048 by 1536, which has an insane DPI, especially for a tablet. So Microsoft had a huge claim stating that their dis display quality of the Microsoft Surface is better than the iPad 3. And if you're going to make a claim like that, you better be willing to back it up. And their excuse is that the Microsoft Surface has less glare, therefore making it a better screen. And glare is important. You, you don't want glare. But I think that resolution is a bigger factor than glare because I'd take a 2560 by 1600 glossy monitor over a 1920 by 1080 less glossy monitor. So Intel is a CPU giant. They pass the three, three, two, one. Intel is a giant company in the world of tech. They've made such a large impact on the desktop and the laptop market with wildly successful products anywhere from Pentium 4s to Sandy Bridge processors. However, they haven't had much of an impact on the mobile market pertaining to tablets and phones. Now they've had a few attempts with devices, but they haven't been that successful. But now Acer is supposedly going to release a tablet with an Intel Atom chip. Now this chip's been used in a lot of netbooks and has been met by some success. Well, it doesn't have fantastic power. You don't always need that in a netbook, and as long as you're solid state powered and have decent RAM, you can get a pretty solid mas machine. So I'm excited to see where this can go. So if you've heard of Intel's big competitor in this last year, AMD, it probably wasn't good. They've been having a big issue in the last year. Their earnings have been going down and down with their operating income staying the same. So they're having a hard time making money. And they've released a statement actually in this last week saying they're going to be transitioning away from the desktop market most likely because 40 to 50% of their sales are going to be transitioned away from the desktop market and they're already laying off thousands of employees. So this week, Google stock plummeted. There was an early report of their earnings for this quarter and they went from $755 a share all the way down to $676 per share. Although the revenue was up, it was $14.1 billion compared to last year's $12.21 billion. So a lot of Verizon subscribers are really excited for the release of Windows Phone 8 October 29th. And a lot of people are going to expect to get their hands on a new Windows Phone 8 device. However, there's a rumor that says Verizon may cancel or delay Windows Phone 8 support. The reason why is because Verizon Wireless requires that all smartphone manufacturers have the ability that they can remotely access the data on the device. But Microsoft doesn't want to do that. Additionally, Microsoft has been noted for being uncooperative with Verizon Wireless, so there's actually a chance that Verizon Wireless may not have Windows Phone 8 support. 
So Intel is actually a little unsure about the near PC future. They were actually down 9% in PC consumer sales with their Intel CPUs. And they think with Windows 8, there's going to be a transition from the PC market to the more mobile market. So if you've ever spent time with using a cloud, you may have noticed, well, it's cool and it's quick. In terms of graphics, power, and appearance, it's not that impressive. And NVIDIA has just unveiled a new VGX card for cloud computing, so when you're on the cloud, you'll see a much better graphical appearance, but it'll also be much snappier and quicker, which I'm pretty excited about because it's going to be featuring a dual GPU design and two by four gigabytes of video RAM. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is Alex Hager here from Tech Taboo, and I'm checking out. If you didn't get a chance to watch my last week's video, be sure to check it out right here. Thank you very much, and have a great day.